A recent leak suggests that missing game modes are coming back in Halo Infinite. Modes like King of the Hill, Infection, Extraction, and more. So make sure to stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving you another Halo news and informational video. If you guys like these kind of informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel within that YouTube algorithm. So it looks like within Halo's API, there are some assets still tied to some familiar game modes that a lot of Halo players have been clamoring for. So what does this leak really mean? It showcases that work has been done towards these game modes, so they will most likely be put into the game at some point when we don't know but some of these medals that got leaked out showcase that these classic modes are coming back eventually in halo infinite so let's start off we have the game mode assault looking to come back in halo infinite there is a medal within the api that says action hero disarm the enemy bomb moments before it detonates well that's pretty much assault so i'm very happy about that now we've seen this leaked previously but the medal of single block which is converting an enemy extraction within moments of its completion which if you guys have been following the channel for a long time we covered this leak a long time ago about this mega constructs leak saying that this is inspired by the favorite multiplayer game mode but there's the word escape, which I guess could be a way to kind of allude to extraction. And you can see right here in this middle pistol looks very much like an extraction site kind of object you would see within the game mode. Extraction first came around in Halo 4 as one of the new game modes that was brought into there. And that's the only game we've seen it in since 2012. It hasn't been in any other ga Halo game. It didn't make it in Halo 5 and it certainly didn't make it into Halo Infinite, but it looks like it may be making a return, which is a really cool, fun, like, attack defend and also kind of neutral objective mode as well definitely something worth checking out i'll definitely keep an eye on it guys if we get some more concrete information of extraction coming back i'll let you know on the channel i figured this would happen but we haven't seen it in any multiplayer maps but they have the medal of from the void which is kill an enemy through a teleporter now i can't recall off the top of my head if there have been any like custom game specific medals that have ever really been created the reason why i bring that up is because with 343 games teleporters have really kind of gone away with the advanced movements of sprint slide clamber in the game you don't really need a teleporter like you have had in classic halo games so maybe this could be something specifically for just the custom games that you know you, when the forge eventually happens we will have teleporters in there have a medal for it or they might create maps in the future for multiplayer that will have teleporters bringing back that classic feel of halo now i think it's pretty much a given that infection will come back at some point uh, the metal the sickness says infect all survivors in an infection round well that's pretty straightforward that it looks like infection is going to be coming back to halo infinite in what way we don't know spoiler right here guys if you haven't finished the campaign you can fast forward a little bit i'll let you guys know right here once the spoiler is done and the fact that there is no flood within the campaign of halo infinite definitely tells me that it might be saving the infection mode for much more of a kind of eventful experience with possibly the flood we don't know obviously but i would expect maybe within the first year to see infection come back so we could see some flood dlc or expansion happen later this year i mean that would be pretty cool the game mode of juggernaut looks to be coming back as well with the mega knot metal that says recharge your shields 10 times as the juggernaut if you guys don't know juggernaut is the mode where basically you have one super powerful character on your team and if you kill him your team gets one point generally the juggernaut has like crazy strong shields and maybe like a good weapon if they tag the tap down on top of there it's been there since halo 2 and uh well i fully expect to see it back sometime soon another game mode that i would really like to see come back especially for free for all king of the hill which zone guardian metal says occupy the zone for 30 seconds without leaving the king of the hill well Pretty self-explanatory. King of the Hill is being worked on right now by 343, or has, has been worked on. There are assets that have been created for it. We just don't have it in the game right now. I would totally expect to see it maybe pop up within a quick play lobby, or maybe throw it into the free-for-all playlist as well, or maybe even BTB. I think that'd be great, but definitely for free-for-all, King of the Hill works out really well for that mode. Now, it looks like the mode of Ricochet might be coming back as well. If you don't know, Ricochet is essentially a ball mode where you have to get the ball into your the enemy team's scores 
buffer zone. And sometimes you can throw the ball in there. You can throw the ball between teammates. It's a really fun game mode actually. And the medal of deep ball is a complete a pass to a teammate that's far away. Well, obviously that could be construed into some other kind of game mode, but following that up says fast break medal where score a goal shortly after the ball is spawned without a turnover, which definitely screams Ricochet, which if you guys haven't played Ricochet, especially in Halo 2 Anniversary, give it a go. It's a lot of fun. And a mode that originally came back in Halo 3 looks to be coming back as well, which is Clash of Kings medal, which is kill a VIP while being a VIP yourself. So if you guys don't know how VIP works, essentially you have two very strong players, usually with overshields and maybe like a, a powerful weapon. You kill that specific player, your team gets a point. This mode has been utilized a lot, especially within the custom game community. And it'd be great to see that mode come back. So that's all the leaked juicy information for you guys. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. If you're new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out those playlists right here. I got link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. So thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.